One of my favorite games of all time is Fallout 3, and if you play that also, you might see where I'm going with my unusual intro today. Just a small attempt to recreate the feel of that game, and I'll come back to this shortly. A few years ago, I saw an ad for a watch inspired by, of all things, Chernobyl. And this was before that amazing HBO show that retold that horrible event. I was intrigued and I bought one to review on my website. I stayed in touch with the owner Bart and he had every intention of expanding his brand to automatic watches. As with all of us, COVID has challenged us and Bart being based in Poland and the war in Ukraine had severe implications on the last few years. But finally, he's the brand new model from Radia watches, the Trinity. I've had this prototype on Len for a week and I've worn it every day. I will say this immediately, there is something about this watch that I really like. Much like his original quirky watches, there are a lot of little details to get lost in. If you're looking at this thinking you'd like it if it wasn't so um, radioactive yellow, don't worry, it'll come in black too. Perhaps part of the reason I like it is because I was such a huge fan of the Fallout video games, particularly Fallout 3 which had that intriguing combination of 50 style nuclear future gone wrong. I see a bit of that here as well with the charming font of the model name of Trinity combined with what almost appears to be a robot warning face at the 12 o'clock. The plan for this watch is to go on pre-order at around $380 in early May 2023 with a regular price of around $450 to $480 which is not bad considering it has a decent movement and a high quality case. If you're intrigued about all this, then stick around and let's have a closer look. But behind this watch will be looking out for comments, so feel free to direct them to him. And whilst you're at it, I would really appreciate you hitting that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. So let's touch on sizes first. This is a 39mm diameter watch and 46mm lug to lug. Lug width is 20mm and thickness is 12.3mm and we have a rather respectable water resistance of 200m. Before I get stuck into this dial, Bart and I have argued back and forth about the brown leather straps included. They are both excellent but my point is that a black strap would look so much better with a yellow dial. So I'm going to give you the chance here to choose Team Bart or Team Espion. But Bart has already stated that he will consider a black strap also, or perhaps he's just trying to make me shut up about it. Time will tell, pun intended. The black strap you see here is one of mine, and the two brown ones are supplied by Bart at Radia. They are both quick release and very good quality, soft, and comfortable to wear with chunky buckles. When you do go on the pre-order pages, you will be able to choose your options then, but the good news is, this 20mm lug width will suit all the hundreds of straps you already have lying around, if you're anything like me. Eyes are the window to one's soul, as we know, and I'd like to think that this applies to the dial of a watch also. This radial brush dial reflects light in a highly unique manner, so at times you almost get the effect of the universally accepted symbol for radiation. I'm not sure if this is intentional, but it is an interesting effect. At the 12 position, we have a triangle made up of three dots, one would imagine symbolizing Trinity, which by the way was the code name of the first detonation of a nuclear weapon. 
and just underneath the Radia logo and Atom symbol printed. This is all crispy done with no bleed and no alignment issues to speak of. At just about the 6, we have the Trinity model name and automatic in a cursive typeface that is again reminiscent of a certain period of human history. Finally on the printed aspects of this doll, we have a printed minute track that leaves 10 minutes free around the Trinity symbol. All indices are applied, including the Trinity at 12. The hands themselves are large enough to offer excellent legibility, and on the seconds hand we have an interesting little counterweight of a circle. The doll itself has a circular brush as mentioned, and this yellow shade is more warning yellow than pleasant sunny day yellow, which is appropriate considering the overall theme here. I've been wearing this watch for a week, every day, and there is just something about it that I really like and my watch friends are split down the middle of not interested or in total agreement with me. I'm really interested to see what the comments will say in today's video. The sapphire crystal that covers the dial offers pleasing distortions and almost appears a little like the warm shades of acrylic, but that could just be the dial color playing tricks. Either way, it's very pleasant. And there are also two layers of internal AR coating applied and reflections are kept in check well. The brush case is curved downwards to fit any wrist, and it's an all brushed affair with a few chamfered edges here and there. It's attractive and discreet, and it also has a hardening coating to keep it looking good for years to come. The signed crown is one aspect earmarked for improvement and will be increased around 15% or so to offer slightly better grip for people with big hands such as myself. I think this will make it look overall much better also and might give a bit more prominence to the engraved Atom logo. Flipping the watch over and there's nothing to see other than some basic specs which again calls out the 200 meter water resistance. Within beats the excellent Miyota 9030 movement from the Citizen Group. This has a Parashock anti-shock system, it hacks and winds and offers a power reserve of 42 hours. You can have this serviced anywhere in the world and it's a reliable movement that is part of Miyota's premium automatic line made in Japan. Whilst this adds to the price point, Bart is keen to have his watches tick for a long time and I think this is commendable. The loom is another fun detail with one shade on the indices and another one on the hands. Both will be improved slightly for launch. It's good already but it could last a bit longer and some of the uneven application improve. I've worn this watch for a week as mentioned and I'm even coming around to this yellow despite black definitely being the colour of my choice when I managed to obtain one. Bart has had time to think over his concept and design due to all the many disasters that's hit him and his neighbours. The reality is that the way these are priced, it's unlikely to mean he can quit his day job and become a full-time radio business person, but I really hope that the Trinity is a huge success for him. It deserves it. And if you agree, do jump on board and support his small microbrand. I have handled many prototypes in my time with this channel, and few have been as well put together as this one. So if that's any indication on the finished product, you would be in very safe hands with Bart and his Radia Trinity. Thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you next time.